Calvin Coolidge, the 30th President of the United States, provided a fitting quote for this time of remembrance. The nation which forgets its defenders will itself be forgotten. Ooh, that's uh, poignant, powerful. It happens to be the opening quote. Uh, the opening page of a journal dedicated to all Canadian chaplains who have faithfully served overseas or supported the rear party back home. Reverend Dr. Harry Ristaw is one of them. His book, At Peace with War, A Chaplain's Meditations from Afghanistan. Welcome, Padre. And I, this is, so much of this is an education to me. Um, that title is distinctly Canadian for the role that you've played. Right, yes. Yeah, the, uh, it's kind of a play with the, uh, the Tolstoy War and Peace and uh, with a little Orwellian twist uh, mm. at war with, at peace with war or at, could say at peace in war, in a warfare. And your title, Padre, um, that is an official title for Canadian chaplains. Yeah, basically it means father. Mm -hmm. Right. In the U.S. they're called chaplains. Chaplains, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm learning lots. Uh, also pleased to learn that you are at Base Borden and have been now for some time. For a year and a half or so. You didn't just climb out of that foxhole. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the reasons I'm pleased about that is that you have a wife and five children. Right. What are their ages? Ages uh, ranging from six months to ten years old. So... Right, one girl, four boys. That's a quiver, mm -hmm. Audrey. It's a busy household. And you didn't have children born while you were away? Um, Home for the babies? We had one born right before I deployed. Uh. So, uh, um, but um, have had sufficient time now to, to re-get to know him. You never get that time back. But um, as we heard in one of the prior interviews, um, there's a sacrifice we all make in serving our country. And, um, and that's really, uh, um, I think that's what inspired me to, to, to write the book as well. And one reason um, is, uh, is uh, not just de a dedication to the Canadian chaplains who have who've served overseas and uh, served back here, but, uh, but our troops in general who have given that ultimate sacrifice or even just sacrifice their time, the time they haven't been with their family mm -hmm. while, while away. Well, you don't have to read too many pages of this to realize you're in Taliban country. It is extremely mm -hmm. dangerous, volatile. Why would you choose that? Mm -hmm. um, why would I choose that as an opening? Uh, uh, to serve. Uh, oh, to serve overseas. Uh -huh. Well, um, I rolled into the Canadian forces while we were already uh, in the midst of, uh, of, our, of our, our NATO work overseas. Uh, and one of the reasons was I, I didn't just want to be a chaplain uh, back here, which is an honorable thing as well, but I really wanted to, um, to go overseas and support our troops that were there. And uh, so I, it was really an answer to prayer, strangely it might sound, to be able to be deployed for the length of time that I was um, and, uh, and um, um, give people the hope of the promises of God. And um, as a Lutheran minister, nothing gives me more joy than to share what Christ has done for us through his crucifixion, his resurrection. Um, not that that is a message that comes into play in everything that I do as a chaplain, but when it does, it really, um, it's very rewarding. So, um, so, so yeah, to be there to, um, to encourage our, our men and women in a, in a difficult, challenging place. Ten months. In, in Two total. deployments. Ten months. Right. Uh, so that's a, right. that's a long time in a difficult place, and you're very, you're very honest about um, mm -hmm. just what that represents when you're there. Mm -hmm. uh, we might think you're doing chapel services uh, uh, routinely. Right. That, that's not the biggest part no. of your no. service there. Right. Yes, I, th I think there's a misconception that um, the chaplains were there simply to provide, um, you know, we, people have an inherent kind of Canadian right to have uh, church services and a place like that and that's the main thing that we do is, is Bible studies and services but we also have a, a role in the in the in the operation um, um, we see more and more uh, our leadership has seen more and more that um, there's a connection between spiritual resiliency and emotional resiliency and mm -hmm. um, and, and an ability to, to to carry out your job and in short when you believe in something when you believe in God um, um, when you have a faith, 
Um, you can do your job better. Uh, you're, you're not as afraid. Uh, you're encouraged. And so chaplains in general were there to foster uh, that relationship that people do have. With so you come alongside and do time and try mm -hmm. to be sensitive to uh, who they are, what their, right. their issues are, their right. family back home, so yeah. that when there is a crisis of any kind, and yeah. it might be back home, it might be, and we have chaplains back home that spend uh, a lot of time with, with, with supporting those families. Mm -hmm. um, we, um, as a chaplain, um, we, I'm not just called to serve Christians or Lutherans. Um, I'm called to serve everybody, to care for everyone, um, to, to, to um, um, provide, a, uh, make, make sure the, the uh, services are being provided to those of other uh, faith groups. And so there's a lot that we do. Um, but, uh, but again, it is personally very rewarding when I meet somebody, and I've met them many a time, um, in a place like, uh, like Afghanistan, where people are, are, are very open and honest with their struggles. It's hard to, to hide your problems, um, to be able to share um, to the, 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 the message of the cross. And, I'm looking and, for the comment of one soldier mm -hmm. who uh, clearly uh, was not accustomed to prayer, mm -hmm. but in a, in a place of need, he, um, mm -hmm. he, he more or less said, give me what you've got. Right. Give me what oh, you've yes, got. Yeah. I'll take it. A, a, a Mormon, I think it was, uh, uh, American, and, um, and wanted me to pray. He was wounded, uh, hospitalized. Ready for anything. And, and I said, well, you know, um, I'm not Mormon, so, um, but uh, um, if you want me, I'm here. And the kind of the, the uh, being, uh, you know, if you're all, you, you know, I don't care what you are, just give pray it, for give me. Give it to you me. Know? I'll um, take it. And, um, and that's, that's really kind of neat because when people see chaplains, um, they think of God. And most people aren't that religious. I think everyone's kind of spiritual, especially in a place where you're, um, facing the, the questions of life and death every but day, but unaccustomed to and, accessing God, right? And, and you're and, the man. And so you're you're the minute you're you're the presence of God. You symbolize mm -hmm. that for better or for worse. Some people are angry with God, and and they see the the padre, and and that stirs up all kinds of emotions. That's okay. We're there to um, to to help people on their spiritual journeys and 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 direct them, and um, and that's a that's a really blessed work to do. And and it continues. We come back, and we heard about grieving and. And um, yeah, and discovering spiritual treasures. Who would mm. expect that out of a war zone? Well, that's um, one reason. I, I have a little poem at the front that I've wrote called, uh, called "Lest We Forget," appropriate for Remembrance Day, as we appreciate, you know, the those who I think you'd mentioned, not just the veterans of the past, but the ones that are mm -hmm. coming back. And uh, I didn't want to forget what I learned there. Um, perhaps there's stuff I won't, wouldn't want to remember in the future that I didn't want to remember while I was going through it. But it serves, the book serves as a kind of a, a gift um, to, to the families, to, to the soldiers. Um, I think people, th they look at, um, they've read this book and they've seen the complexities, they've seen the, the kind of questions that we have, uh, you know, when we're in a place like that, mm -hmm. I, 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 painting, trying to paint a picture of what life was, um, what was life like there, and that in the midst of all that darkness, God is there, um, and I think that's what makes it special, is that it's not just a description of this meaningless dark place, yes. um, but how God's at work. Let me know? attest to that right. that um, in, in almost every journal entry. You contrast what's happening in your day, even if it's a Groundhog Day that's right. another discussion, right. with Christ, mm -hmm. finding Christ. You mm -hmm. clearly find mm -hmm. the truth of Scripture and the person of Christ in whatever you're encountering. Right. And that is um, that makes this a real spiritual mm -hmm. treasure, and God is using it mm -hmm. in right. wonderful ways. Where is this book going? Well, it's um, it's used in various places. Uh, it's uh, the, the mental health has uh, used as as a tool um, in the, the uh, therapy that they're uh, conducting. Um, I've, I've received emails and phone calls frequently from Americans and Canadians thanking me for writing that, uh, helping them, um, family members of those who have deployed, uh, helping them understand better the adjustments some of those people are making, coming back to, to Canada, North American life, understanding that a little better, um, feel, feeling um, inspired, you know, spiritually as well. And um, the German, there's a there's a, a publishing company in Germany presently reading through it and in, in the intention of pub uh, translating it into German, perhaps to be used, perhaps to be used by the uh, the German um, forces as a tool, and perhaps for other NATO forces. 
we've used it in, in our chaplain school as well. And um, and yeah, it's it's uh, the scope has uh, originally when I wrote it, I didn't think it would have as large of a scope, but I'm thankful to God for um, for uh, being able to use my my honesty and my you know my 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 weaknesses, my confessions um, that are in there for the wonderful good of to other read people. too. That although this is debated, you know NATO's presence mm -hmm. in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. your own testimony mm -hmm. is everyone there is making it a better. Place. Absolutely, you know there's no sacrifice that has, has been made in vain. Um, uh, I know people have different opinions as to, to being there or not. I was there on two separate occasions, so I was able to see the change within a year or within X number of months uh, between that, uh, uh, those times to see the changes that had gone on. Um, and it's still, it's still ongoing. Um, the, I think the book helps you better understand why we were there, perhaps. It's, mm -hmm. uh, um, it's a, it's a book that supports our presence, but it's not, it doesn't simplify it. It doesn't, there are a lot of unanswered questions, um, and, and that's okay to ask those. And, uh, and when we, we're honest with our thoughts and feelings, we're, we're, we're better off in, in the long run. Absolutely, so. Padre. And I've, every journal entry ends with a beautiful prayer. A prayer, yeah. Um, and I, I thought I would I'd, like to ask right. you that'd be my, to my, lead my, I'd be prayer. honored to, to say a uh, prayer. Uh, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you for your kindnesses, for uh, the sacrifice of all our troops who have uh, s uh, served overseas, particularly in Afghanistan, uh, for the cause of peace, uh, to make our world a better place. Um, we also pray for um, you to continue to uh, look after families um, and grieving families, that they would have uh, your special presence uh, with them, uh, the comfort also of, of the resurrection. We thank you for the ultimate sacrifice accomplished for Jesus through his blood and righteousness for us. Uh, and we pray that that would be a source of, of hope and, and um, uh, wisdom and uh, uh, comfort for us also. We leave um, all of our um, questions in your hands mm -hmm. and we ask that um, you would guide us as you always do and will continue to do. In the precious name of Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Amen. Yes. Padre Harold Risto, thank you so much for your service, for this gift mm. to many. It is at our e-store if you would like to read At Peace with War, a Chaplain's Meditations from Afghanistan.